Rippling up some 867 feet through the lower Manhattan skyline, Frank Gehry's Beekman Tower is the tallest residential building in New York City. The structure is clad in stainless steel, which undulates on top of a flat, unitized curtain wall. To achieve this wavy effect, Gehry worked closely with Permis de Lisa, the curtain wall contractors who also engineered the Guggenheim Bilbao in Spain and Walt Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles. We recently spoke with Dennis Sheldon of Gary Technologies about realizing the unique building skin. There's a couple tricks uh, to making a complex system like this uh, economical. Um, and one of them is that you'll actually see a lot of flat geometry, kind of regular curtain wall panel on the project. Uh, there's some that's slightly curved, and then there's a few places that have highly shaped curvature. That's one approach. The other thing is, uh, that although there's a lot of highly shaped curved surfaces, they're curved in a way that a, that a craftsman can just lay it on like a sheet of paper. We don't stamp things like you would do with an airplane or an automobile. During the design process, there was a continual loop from design almost, you could say, through virtual construction that allowed us to continually price the, uh, the system as it was designed so that by the time that it was actually uh, ready for fabrication, we knew exactly what it was going to cost. By maintaining the, the rules that the fabricator, Permis de Lisa, provided us in order to get these different types of unit costs and different types of panels. At the end of the day, these, kernel, these curtain wall panels are all built off-site. Uh, the only way that this works with this kind of geometry is if we have a really precise 3D model where everything, including uh, the concrete embeds, the uh, the slab edges, that's all worked out beforehand uh, so that when the curtain wall panels arrive on site, there are no errors. So the digital process is really integral to everything from the most early phase design through the manufacturing and installation. But it all needs to be brought together in our approach at the beginning when the design is taking place, not sort of reverse engineered or fixed or fudged later.